Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to uh, transfer your files or data recovery from your uh, smartphone, your Samsung uh, smartphone to uh, your uh, Mac OS operating system, either uh, MacBook, iMac, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. Okay, so <coughs> This is uh, for those uh, viewers that are having a question about how to uh, back it up when your dig digitizer is not working on your smartphone, okay? This is only applied to uh, s your digitizer is uh, malfunction. But if your, uh, if your uh, smartphone is working with a digitizer, Without any problem, you, you can still follow this method to uh, backup uh, or uh, data recovery your files, your computer. Okay? So you will require to have a uh, OTG uh, cable. Uh, let me focus. OTG uh, cable stand for uh, on to go, okay? And you would require to uh, have a mouse with a USB uh, adapter, which is you will be connecting to your uh, OTG cable like, like that. So imagine your phone is not function and you have a keypad lock and you cannot press it to unlock it. This will be the way to uh, unlock your phone by using the mouse. Okay, so all you want to do is uh, connect that OTG cable to your uh, phone. <clears throat> and now you move the mouse around. See, as a pointer right now, I I, I could uh, unlock the by pushing the pin number that I have. So let me unlock it real quick. So I'm using my mouse, not, not my uh, finger, okay? So as you can see right now, so once you uh, unlocked it, you can go to a setting to uh, remove the pink code lock if you want. And you will also need to require to have uh, your original USB uh, data cable. So try to not let your phone to go to sleep mode in case you, you did not take out the keypad lock yet. So what I do is uh, plug my uh, data cable to the computer and then uh, unplug the OTG cable and then plug into the data cable. Okay, and now it says uh, allow access to device data. And you gotta click on that allow in order to sync it with your computer. And on the next video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, download the files that you, or the, pro, uh, the software that you need in order to, to sync it with your uh, Samsung uh, smartphone devices. Okay, so. I'm going to show you the next video, so stay tuned, okay? So on your uh, Google, you can search for Android file transfer for Mac.
and then that will be uh, this one over here then you click on uh, download now to uh, download to your uh, Mac or Mac OS So after you download the app, you open the AndroidFileTransfer.dmg and then you either double click it or drag the Android file transfer to applications and then you use your USB data cable that come with your uh, Android device or uh, your Samsung phone and connect it to your uh, MacBook or your Mac and then double click the Android file transfer and then you can browse the file and folder on your Android devices and transfer up to 4 gigabyte. okay so we are gonna move to the next uh, video and I'll show you how to do that so after you download it Go to your downloads and then uh, click on Android file transfer DMG right here. Double click it. And then uh, you drag it to uh, your Android file transfer to your applications. So since I did it already, so I'm just going to replace it. And then now you see the Android file transfer right there. Uh, I can double click it and open it. So just click on open. Uh, it says no Android device found because. Uh, uh, let me plug it in. So you gotta plug it in while you open the files. So imagine if your uh, digitizer is not working and your phone is locked. This is what what will tell you cannot access device storage. Okay. So you gotta follow the previous uh, video and to uh, unlock your uh, screen first with your pin code lock, which is we did it on the mouse earlier. So after you did that. You, and you also on your phone, you gotta make sure you allow access to device data and click on allow. And you press OK right here, and then uh, it's gonna allow you to access all your files after you did that. Remove your pin or enter your pin code. So this these are the, all the folders that you have on your phones. Okay. So whatever picture that you take on your uh, camera is under uh, DCIM. And then on the camera, those will be all your picture, your video files in there, okay? So, and then uh, now you can drag it to uh, your computer. So example, if I want to drop uh, one of the picture, uh, I can just uh, drag one right here and then click on my desktop and then it's copied to my desktop already. So you could like, uh, you could hold the, if you want to drag the whole thing, you could uh, click on the highlight one of the file first and then go all the way to the bottom and hit your shift key and then click on the mouse uh, left button so that will highlight all the files that you want to back it up to your uh, computer so all you do is just uh, click on the left mouse and then drag it to your desktop but I'm not going to do that okay so this is a tutorial on how to back up your uh, file or uh, transfer your files to your uh, 
Mac. And please uh, give a thumbs up and like this video and subscribe to our channel. And you could also share this with your friends and families on, on uh, social media. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next uh, unboxing, tutorial or DIY. Thank you. Peace.